Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me Adi, your buddy for learning. And friends, today I'm going to take the second part of basic science, the cascades of life. And friends, if you haven't seen the part 1, please watch it. I will be giving the link in the description box below. And let's move on to this chapter. So, what all did we study on the last class? We studied about microorganisms and animal cells. So, we know that animals are living things. So, are there any other living things in this earth? Yes, there is plants. Plants are also living things. They can grow, they can produce their own food. The animals are growing because they have cells. So, do plants also have cells? Yes, the plants do have cells. So, let's study the organelles of a plant cell. The organelles of a plant cell are cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, chloroplast and vacuum. Let's study them one by one. First one is the cell wall. Cell wall is the outer layering of the plant cell. Next is the cell membrane. Cell membrane is the inner covering of the plant cell. Next is the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a fluid or a matrix filled inside the plant cell. Next is the nucleus. Nucleus is the commanding center of a plant cell. Next is the chloroplast. Chloroplast is very important for a plant to stay in green color. If we look around, we mostly see green colored plants and bushes. And that's because of this chloroplast. And an other use of this chloroplast is helping in the process photosynthesis. Next is the vacuum. Vacuum is the storing area of the plant cell. This vacuum contains 80% of earth space in the plant cell. These are the organelles of a plant cell. Now we have studied the organelles of a plant cell. Next, let's look a question. We have studied that the animal cells are different. So, are plant cells also like that? Let's look. To look it, we need to observe through the microscope. We have to take some parts of plant and look through the microscope. Here first, let's look the cells of an onion. And to look it, we need an onion. And we have to cut this into two. So here I have taken it. And using this we have to look through the microscope. So here from this onion we have to take a thin layer of peel. From this we have to take a thin layer. Here I have taken it. And using this thin layer we are going to look through the microscope. And there are some procedures for looking through the microscope. And they are, first we have to put this thin layer into the water and soak it. And then we have to convert it to the saffron steam to get it color. And after putting it to the steam, we have to once again convert it to the water because there will be unwanted substances of this saffron steam. So here, after putting it, our thin layer is ready. Next, let's take a slide and put some drops of glycerin on it and look through the microscope. We have to put this thin layer and cover it with the cover slip and look through the microscope. After looking, we will get the observation. We can see the cells of an onion peel. Next, let's look the cells on a leaf. Here I have taken a better leaf and we are going to look this better leaf cells through the microscope. Here I have taken this and we have to cut this into two. Here I have cut and we will get a small thread like layer from this. And using that we are going to look through the microscope. We have to use the same method that we have did in the cell of an onion peel and observe through the microscope. And here we can see two types of cells. The first cell looks a little bit similar to the onion cell, isn't it? But the second one is different. It looks like the uh, seeds of a bee, isn't it? And this cell is known as the guard cells. The guard cells are surrounded by stoma. And they help to regulate the rate of transpiration while opening and closing the stomata. This stomata usually opens and closes for two presses 
and they are respiration and photosynthesis. The photosynthesis process means this plant take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. But in case of respiration, it's not like that. This process, the plant take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. And this respiration process can be happened in any time, no matter if it is day or night. But in case of photosynthesis, it's not like that. This process will only be happened in daylight from the sun. Now, let's look the cell on a stem. Here, I have a Eupatorium plant stem and I'm going to look the cells of this stem. To look it, we have to cut this uh, stem in small thin layers. Here, I have cut it. And using this, we are going to look through the microscope. So we have to use the same method that we used in the onion cell and look through the microscope. And there we can see the cells on a stem. Now, what did we understand from this? We understood that the cells are different. When we compare the cells of an onion, the cells of a leaf and cells of a stem, we can see that the each and every cell is different from each other. Now, we have studied the organelles of an animal cell and plant cell. Now, let's compare them together. You might have noticed that there are some common organelles in animal cell and plant cell. And they are nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuum and cell membrane are present in animal cell and plant cell. But chloroplast and cell wall is only present in a plant cell. That is the comparison between animal cell and plant cell. Now friends, by studying these, we are ending this chapter, Cascades of Life. See you again with the coming chapters. And friends, if you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon near to the subscribe button to get notified when I post new videos. Bye-bye. It's me, Adi. Your body for learning.